eerie dungeons filled with tricks and traps are a staple of fantasy games, and in the puzzle platformer Lumo, you may face your deadliest yet. <laughs> Lumo is a true test of platforming skill and puzzle solving ability. You begin as a young kid visiting a retro game hobby fair only to find yourself mysteriously teleported inside an old 8-bit computer game. Transformed into a squat wizard, you begin your journey. It seems finding your way back to the real world is your main objective, but you have to traverse a tricky dungeon in order to do that. The levels in Lumo are presented in a 3D isometric view, which makes all the platforming in the game quite confusing and subsequently very challenging. Yeah, I have to say, you guys, this is one of the trickiest platformers I have ever played. Not being able to rotate the camera perspective makes lining up jumps so finicky. And if you're just a few pixels off, you will die. I seriously grew tired of hearing that death sound. Yeah, I really agree. Getting through some of those rooms was torturous. And it's not like you only have to clear them once either. The game has you backtracking heaps to try and figure out where you need to go, so you end up having to pass through really difficult sections over and over again. I mean, the game does utilise one or two checkpoints, but there were some rooms where I just lost the will to keep going. Indeed, Hex. My rage quitometer needed to be replaced after one long gaming session. On the other side of the coin, Lumo is quite clever. I liked the game's weird atmosphere, and it's interesting trying to figure out what you need to do in some of the rooms, like walking backwards to move those big balls, or using that strange affectionate crate that follows you around. There are lots of little secrets to find in the dungeon too. Some that hide collectibles, some just for laughs. There are even one or two strange bonus levels to find. While the bulk of the gameplay is focused on jumping puzzles, you do at one point gain a staff that can scare off icky creatures or illuminate hidden platforms. Yeah, when the game is more about understanding some sort of puzzle, that's when I had the most fun. Each new doorway you reach seems to lead to some entirely new challenge, which keeps you wanting to explore. Even though that means more treacherous platforming. Oh, like that painful, slippery ice level. And I really think a lot of this game was intentionally made to be difficult, to call back to some of those old retro games that were known for being obscure. Oh, indeed, Hex. In fact, if you compare it to a game such as Solstice on the NES, you can see there's a remarkable resemblance. Whoa, Darren, it really does look like that. Good catch, Darren. Well, if you want to challenge yourself with some puzzling and platforming, I think Lumo might be for you. I'm giving it three out of five rubber chickens. Not, not me, I had to put this down. The painfully fiddly jumping just put me off wanting to finish it. So I gave it two rubber chickens, you guys.